Hello my dear students and welcome back to Zenith Academy Online. My name is Shagufta Jaipuri and today we are learning a very interesting topic Acid Rain. So this is part 4 of the chapter Acid Bases and Salts for ICSC class 10. So let's go ahead and study about Acid Rain. Now students what do you mean by the term Acid Rain? Acid Rain refers to rain or any type of precipitation like snow or fog which is acidic in nature that is having a pH less than 5.6. Now children acid rain is generally a complex mixture of nitrous acid, nitric acid, sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid. So when we go ahead in the lecture I will tell you how all four of them are formed. Okay? This is acid rain is generally caused due to pollutants in the air. Basically, the pollutants like sulfur dioxides and oxides of nitrogen. So, let us see what happens in acid rain. Okay. Now, the acidic gases are released into the atmosphere from where? From the factories or burning of the fossil fuels or the fuels of the automobiles. Now, which, which acidic gases? Sulfur dioxide, different oxides of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Now when these gases are carried away upwards by the wind, okay, these combine with water droplets to form acid rain. So when this type of a rain falls, okay, it does a lot of harm. Okay. So this destroys plants because the acidity of the soil changes. So the fertility of soil also changes and hence the land becomes barren and the uh, plants which are growing on it are also affected. Also, it pollutes the water resources, okay. it, it adversely affects the marine life because the pH of the water also changes and it erodes the buildings, especially the buildings which are made up of marble and limestone. So here, acid rain is one of the consequences of air pollution. So here you can see there is air pollution. It occurs when emissions from factories, cars or heating boilers contact with the water in the atmosphere. These emissions contain nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. When we do the reactions, I will tell you in detail. Which when mixed with water, so when these gases mixed with water, what happens? Becomes sulfurous acid, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. And this process also occurs naturally through volcanic eruptions. So along with man-made emissions, this also happens when volcanic eruptions takes place. So this is a natural process also. So here I have given a detailed diagrammatic explanation of acid rain. So here you can see that there are factories, boilers, you can see a volcanic eruption also. So due to natural causes like volcanic eruptions and due to man-made sources, okay, nitrogen oxides are formed okay, and sulfur dioxide is formed. So nitrogen oxides and sulfur dioxides when they are released in atmosphere, it reacts with the atmospheric water and it forms sulfurous acid, sulfuric acid, nitrous acid and nitric acid which falls in the form of rain and also in the form of snow. Here you can see it is forming, falling in the form of snow. Okay. Now the adverse effects, slowing growth, damage and even the death of trees. So this is the adverse effect on plants. Okay. The metal corrodes much faster because of the acid rain. So this is on metal. So you can see the bridge here and you can see the damaged plants. Now, human heritage built on limestone is transformed into gypsum which dissolves more easily by water and causes the collapse of the stone. So the buildings and the statues that are made up of limestones or marbles collapse because of this. Also here you can see that marine life has been affected. So increased acidity of the waters of rivers and lakes with consequent damage to fish and alga. Now what happens to the soil? Acidification of soil involves changes in their composition and affects the vegetation which in many cases dies. So the vegetation dies. Now what is its effect on humans? Let's see. Now. Although acid rain is not harmful to humans, the pollutants that causes it are noxious. These, gas, 
these gases particles of sulfate and nitrate are carried by the wind and inhaled by people causing respiratory diseases so this is how acid rain is formed and these are the adverse effects of acid rain now let us go in detail of the chemistry of acid rain now burning of fossil fuels releases sulfur dioxide gas so you can see the sulfur which is there in the fossil fuel when it burns it forms sulfur dioxide gas now this sulfur dioxide that is formed it reacts with water in the atmosphere so it reacts with water vapor forming sulfurous acid that is h2so3 so water in the atmosphere that is water vapor plus this sulfur dioxide gas which is formed by burning of fossil fuel forms sulfurous acid okay now this so2 which was formed here can also be oxidized to so3 so since it is in the atmosphere so due to presence of excess of oxygen this so2 can get converted into so3 also so now because of the sulfur we have so2 and this so2 forms sulfurous acid now because of oxidation of this so2 it converts into so3 now let's see what happens to this so3 so now this so3 reacts again with water vapor which is present in the air and when this so3 reacts with water it forms sulfuric acid so i will repeat what happened burning of fossil fuel so the sulfur which got burned formed so2 okay and this so2 when reacted with water it formed sulfurous acid sulfurous acid right now this so2 when oxidized in air formed so3 and when this so3 reacted with water it formed sulfuric acid so there are two types of acid sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid and the presence of these two acids in rain causes acid rain now let's see how nitrous acid and nitric acid are formed nitrogen in the air combines with oxygen to give nitric oxide so n2 plus o2 which is there in the air combines at a very high temperature to form nitric oxide now, when is this very high temperature reached it happens in two cases first during the burning of fossil fuels in running internal combustion engines so whenever internal combustion engines run okay they produce a lot of heat okay then second is during lightning so during rainy seasons okay when there is lightning in the air so in the atmosphere the temperature rises considerably so at that high temperature the nitrogen and oxygen in the atmosphere okay reacts together to form nitric oxide in both these cases nitric oxide is formed in the atmosphere next this nitric oxide is oxidized to no2 that is twice no that is twice of this nitric oxide no twice of no reacts with oxygen to form no2 no2 is which oxides of nitrogen nitrogen dioxide so first this n2 reacts with oxygen to form nitric oxide that is no and then this no again gets oxidized to form nitrogen dioxide okay now you balance this this is 2 this is 2 okay so in the atmosphere now there are two oxides of nitrogen nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide now this no2 that is nitrogen dioxide when reacts with water it form nitrous acid that is hno3 this is nitrous acid and nitric acid so when this no2 which is formed by oxidation of this no okay reacts with water which is present in the atmosphere it forms two acids that is nitrous acid and nitric acid now this nitric acid is also formed by this reaction twice water molecule reacts with four nitrogen dioxide and oxygen to form four hno3 so let us revise how it was formed nitrogen 
in the atmosphere reacted with oxygen when it reacted during lightning and during combustion of fuel of internal combustion engines so nitrogen in air reacted with oxygen in air to form nitric oxide this nitric oxide oxidized to form nitrogen dioxide now this nitrogen dioxide reacted with water which is present in the atmosphere and it formed nitrous acid which is, which is HNO2 and nitric acid which is HNO3. Now the presence of these two acids in the rain cause acid rain. Now this acid is also formed by this reaction twice water molecule plus 4 nitrogen dioxide molecule plus oxygen molecule combines to form 4 nitric acid. So you can write this reaction also. So if a question is asked how is nitric and nitrous acid formed in the atmosphere which causes acid rain you have to write all these four reactions. And if they ask write the chemical reactions for formation of acid rain then you have to mention the formation of sulfurous acid, sulfuric acid, nitrous acid and nitric acid. All four reactions you have to mention. So students, this was all about the formation of acid rain. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and write in the comment box. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and please tap on the bell icon to receive all the notifications. We are uploading our next video on indicators and pH value. So please go ahead and watch that video too. So all the best and keep the learning on. Thank you.